Hi friends, welcome back. And today we are going to be discussing about how to handle for auto suggestion drop downs. Okay. Here basically I'm going to take for <coughs> for red bus. Okay. Even you can take for Atra and some anything like uh, any website which has uh, flight booking or bus booking anything you can. Do, okay. And here basically uh, from address and to uh, location, from location to location we are choosing and right. Whenever you search something like uh, Bangalore, okay, for the Bangalore you can able to see there are so many locations that are displayed. The Bangalore and also you are choosing for uh, multiple options. If you choose for Mumbai, see Mumbai again, so many options. And if you go for Delhi. Okay, again, you can able to see for multiple options. Like this, you can able to keep on seeing. Okay, and maybe you'll get for question why you are taking for only red bus, why can't you take for Atra and all, right? Sometimes your drop downs, which is highlighting here, right? It may not be displayed as expected. Okay, and red bus, it will display whenever you inspect this location. Now you can see if you are inspecting, still the drop down is like, uh, still it is populating auto suggestion it still it is populated and we can able to inspect easily okay my throat having some infection maybe you will feel some bad okay don't worry i'm going to explain in case if you are not able to understand properly means you can comment on this video i'll make for another video once my throat infection is resolved okay and this particular infection uh, like you can able to inspect that elements and easily if you are go for any like uh, now I'm going to for APS RTC. Okay. This is also one kind of uh, uh, traveling booking from uh, okay. If I choose for something ATP like this. Now see uh, there are some set of values coming, right? If you are inspecting in this element, automatically the drop down is closed. We can't be able to inspect properly, right? As expected, we can't able to do for that expectations. Okay. That's why I'm going to choose for this particular red bus. Okay. Now, how we can able to do it? Okay. First, we need to choose for this particular one. Okay. This is the main location. Okay. In this main location, what we need to do? And we need to uh, enter something in that particular text box. Okay, once you enter something, we can able to get this pop-up and there we need to find it, right? Now I'm going to write for automation script. Here, auto suggest dot spec dot ts. Okay, and here again, I'm going to be putting this file And now here I am going to create for test case and here I am going to use for test case it's like auto suggest and then we need to create for a sync and inside that I am going to create for page because we need to communicate with the pages right and then our pages are ready okay here i we need to use for a which a page dot go to okay and this go to we can specify our url this is my red bus url okay then after that i'm going to wait some time page dot a which time because we need to load complete page immediately that's why i'm going to Wait some time, okay. Our script should not be a fail. That's why I'm going to use in that, okay. Page dot locator, and that locator I'm going to specify my locator called this SRC, okay. Direct we have for ID. That's why I'm going to use for directly ID. This is selected type, okay. And then I'm going to fill. <laughs> Uh, what we can able to fill B A N if you type for B A N yeah B A N it will display some auto suggestions right 
Now this B A N. After entry, we are able to see right. It is all auto populations we can able to see. Now I am going to inspect in this element. Okay, and where we have and this particular Bangalore location. You can see this is a text class as a placeholder and Bangalore. Okay. Before that, you can see there are a couple of things are presented. Where it is presented, this particular LI. Okay. If you see, this is the LI. Okay. And this is the complete UL. Okay. This complete UL. And inside that, this particular one, you can see all the LIs have common class. That is SCI-IWSKBI. This is the common name it is presented we can able to take this particular one okay then we can able to find inside this what are the things we have there is a dev okay inside the dev we have for text okay this field we need to read it okay and if i control l can read for this particular one we'll create for one uh, uh, text path Okay. Now I'm going to creating for XPath or CSS selector. Anything is fine. Okay. Anything you can able to use and create it. Li. I'm going to create it here at the rate class. Class. And then we can able to specify our class name. Contents we can provide. Yeah. Now we have for 20. Okay, but 20 whether we can able to see or not. See here there are 20 names are present and that 20 is coming. Exact location we need to go right because we need to go for inside that dev and inside for text this is a field okay text fields we need to get it from here to we need to read for all the values now we need to copy this particular x path okay come back and after here we need to wait some time because we need to uh, load that entire values, right? Uh, wait for locator. I'm going to use for 2000 seconds and then I'm going to use for a wage page dot. Now I'm going to use for dollars. Okay, why I'm going to use for dollars means we need to uh, get some value and then we need to use for verification whether we are expected value is presented or not if that expected value is because it is a list of values <clears throat> if you use a locator and a specific it is also provided but we need to rotate some for loops and all right for that time we can able to use for this particular dollars okay now this entire information we need to store inside a variable i'm going to use for constant Options I'm going to specify because we are going to read for as is options, right? Now here, what I can do for loop. In this for loop, we need to take as a let opt of options. Okay. In this option, what we need to do? We need to get the text, correct? Constant value equal to and opt dot text contains okay what it will do it will do for entire values it will display right console dot log we can specify for value what value it is display we'll see okay and then we need to wait some more time because we need to check whether we are able to see for all the all the values or not now i'm going to We need to auto suggest spec dot ts file head mode. Okay. 
Now I'm running. Now one worker around is started and then it will run for Chromium and then we can see red bus is open. Now it will enter for PAN. See now auto suggestion values came and we can see the values also. Okay, it is not displayed because of we are not used for a bit. A bit. That wait again. We need to here await oh, because we are not provided for waiting, right? That's why it is not able to uh, give us all the values. Now we can run one more time. It is entering value, but uh, it is able to read the value. But uh, whenever the waiting time is required, because it is a sync, right? If you are not wait properly, then automatically. It will not give you the values. Okay. Now you can see all values comes here. Okay. Complete values came here. Okay. In this, we need to check some value, which is uh, electronicity. Okay. Electronicity or silk board. Any some value we need to check. Okay. Then we need to click that particular value once it is satisfied. Then we need to click. I'm going to choose for set board. Okay. And here I'm going to use for if condition. If condition opt dot includes. OPT dot not dot Why it is include is not coming here. So it is a value. Okay, the value. Sorry, I'm using every time OPT, OPT right? Uh, that's why the value I missed out. Sorry, we need to use for silver. Okay, now my silver is satisfied. Then we need to click that particular element. Right, await value dot a click function. Sorry, value dot. A value dot includes and in value white click function is not coming.
value should be correct. Hello, Morto. Open that click. You can specify OPT. And we can see the OP dimension. Oh, the string value is not able to take. We can see whether we, we are able to click for select board or not. We need to choose for silk board. Yeah, silk board. OPT we need to choose. Now we are able to click, right? Similar format we can able to use for JavaScript as well. Okay, this way we can able to auto suggestion how auto suggestion is uh, choosing, right? The auto suggestion we can able to choose for multiple values, but we need to proper export we need to take and then we need to use for this condition. Then only we can able to do it otherwise we can't okay now i'm going to store a uh, copying this entire value okay and here we can do it for one new file auto suggestion dot spec dot js because we need to end or uh, do it for javascript also And if you want to use it some assertion there also you can able to use for one more assertion called a text box is whether expected value is displayed or not. This way also we can able to do for some uh, assertions, okay. So just spec.js. Now again I'm running here. The same code which is we are going to use for uh, TypeScript, right? Same code it will help you to run the same in there also. Now see, cell board also it is selected. Okay, like this we can able to use it for TypeScript and JavaScript for auto suggestion drop down selection. Okay, and next video session time we'll. Come back. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues. Thank you.